Rick Shapiro, didn't she tell you where I was from? She didn't tell you my credits? That's weird, right? I feel like it's a racist show. <laughs> like I know it is. And I don't understand, the black guys, it said black, brown, and crazy. So did they go, I'm black, so I'm first. And the guy goes, no, I'm black. Well, I'm kind of brown. You do, is that what black guys do? You, you go, I'm brown. I'm black. Hmm. I don't feel right till I can decide. I have to define my color. I'm brown. I'm black. No, I'm black. Your kid comes up, Daddy, you're brown. No, you're standing in the shadow. <laughs> what do you know? I'm black. Well, I'm a Republican. Which means I'm white. I feel like I'm dressed like a gay trucker. <laughs> or a gay 70s cop, a mariachi singer. <laughs> or just a plain old white guy. I'm just a white guy. I ain't crazy. I'm, I'm anxious. I'm a walking anxiety attack. I don't even fuck anymore. I just panic and put someone on top of me. Oh man! You look like a Kardashian if she was an ugly guy. Uh, I'm just taking out my anger out on you. Uh, I've learned to say this. I'm sorry, asshole. Since I got kicked out of a psych ward. Sorry, asshole. Don't try to get me. Just remember, you had a lot of fun, and I don't feel white to be real honest with you. you, you I, I go to shows and you know, white guys are like, uh, "Sir, you you black?" Uh, it's nice to meet you. Where, where are you from? You, you know what I mean? Like, like, they think they're supposed to be afraid of black guys. You're a black guy. I'm a white guy. What's the fucking deal? I watch white guys go, they, like, a black comic, you know, I got a big cock. But, but, but what, all I ever hear from white guys are like, my girlfriend says I have a small penis. I have a small penis. Because I'm white, so I have to talk like a wimp. I'm white, so, so I'm a wimp, and I don't know how to dance, and I'm stupid, and I'm silly, and I'm a nerd, I'm kind of a nerd, I'm kind of a nerd. Fucking asshole white people create the stereotype themselves. You know how many people I killed with this move? Just my career. I don't understand raffles either. You want a baby doll in pink pajamas. I'm at a comedy club, not at McDonald's or Child Run. It's like all the gap babies are white. Whatever that means. Like this jacket is half goat, half bath mat. I made it myself. I'm into macrame. I'm a Republican. I fucking hate Republicans, Democrats, people in suits, normal people. Don't you hate normal people? No, normal people don't go to comedy clubs. They just stay home all the time and go like, well, it's nine o'clock time to turn on the TV. And thumb through the paper. And put a hen on our new quilt. Like, there, there's even a truth to that. Now you can't write hand on a quilt. You don't sit down and like, let me write hand on a quilt and use it for no meaning. There was actually a hand on a quilt in my life. I married a stripper. That's what she was. That's what she was. Okay? And she didn't even use her, she could slide up and down a pole 18 times in four, four seconds. With, without her arms or legs. Just her goddamn v v vagina, like. She was on the Discovery Channel as the undiscovered insect. <laughs> that vagina's got vagina power. That's not a vagina, that's a personnel carrier. I used to be in the army and I thought about vagina a lot. Like years I wouldn't call it, I don't call it pussy. I call it Paradise Cove. <laughs> the Mermaid Cafe. America's Heartland. Where dreams are built and destroyed. <laughs> or Beverly Hills, where they have such bad reconstruction jobs, it looks like a half-built mineshaft with a rusty bulldozer for a clitoris. 
But that's a poem. 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 Shut up. Go to the rest. Shut up, Dad. Is my father standing behind me with a shovel? I'm so fucking upset. I can't believe it, man. Black, brown, brown, black. I, like, I'm white, but I'm not white. Look, look, look. This is white. Do I look white? Even without this, I look far from white. I mean, what, like a white guy, like, <clears throat> what time is it? <clears throat> Three o'clock. <clears throat> uh, I gotta get my head together. I miss cocaine. Or the Lion King. I don't know if you're a Republican. <clears throat> I got AIDS, but I'll beat it because I'm American. And that's how we roll. America, get out of here, AIDS. Get out of here. Kick it to the curb. Fuck you, AIDS. I've got full-blown AIDS. It's a power symbol. <laughs> let me explain that to you. I'm having trouble breathing because, well, you, me, you ever smoke so much coke, you know you're God? <laughs> that happened to me once, forever. <laughs> now I'm gonna even show you how it looks. You ever smoke so much coke, you found it, you know you're God. You're like, <laughs> Today? Yeah. You're a fucking loser. No. I'm God. I'm God. You never accept me for who I really was. I'm God. I'm God. <laughs> hey, fuck. How, did, how, how does God get out of the bathroom? <laughs> oh, well. I'm God. <laughs> then I go to my friends and go, I'm God. Guys, I'm God. Oh, how do you talk and puke at the same fucking time? Get away from me. Get away from me. Punchline, pal. I don't like punchlines very much. Because punchlines end the joke. And when the joke ends, the comedian is one step closer to death. And I ain't dying. I'd rather kill the fucking joke. Kill the, kill the fucking joke. Do you ever do comedy so much? You go home, you're like, kill the fucking joke. I do it. you Kill it, kill it, kill it. But you can't stop. You just keep punching it and punching it and punching it. And it never does. It never fucking does. And then that's when you break your hand for them. You throw the ants all over the wall and then you piss on them. And that's a little childhood story. <laughs> no, you can't give me the light. We're having a marathon after this. Whoever wins gets a nightgown. With me in it. Oh man, we're all looking for the same thing. A cute blowjob. Yeah, like the cute one. Women give cute blowjobs. I, I don't know how men do it, like, hey Harry, what do you think of this one? I learned it down at the station. Ah! <laughs> little Lee Marvin twist. Ah! Give you a little Danny Glover fuck. Ah! He's got those legs that are too big for his body. Like, if he wasn't a movie star, he'd be a at the library going like, do you have any books on pigeons? <laughs> you get it. <laughs> ah, fuck that joke. The world's too gay. I don't mean the good kind of gay bow tie. 
No, I don't mean a good kind of gay where jizz is shooting out like bullet sticks are hanging like Tommy guns. Balls are banging into each other like old boxers looking for lost horse heads. Mitchum's fisting a cow. Lee Marvin sitting on his own dick to show Jared Leto what a fag Ed Norton's always going to be. Always, always, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what. And Ryan Gosling and Jared Leto and all those little girl boys. All of them, no matter what, no matter what. And, 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 and. No, I don't mean that kind of gay. I mean the other kind. Grey's Anatomy gay. You know, like, if you're what, like, I don't know if my boyfriend watches Grey's Anatomy, and he, he's not gay. I said, you're not from, you from L.A.? <laughs> well, sort of, sort of, I should have been, you know? I got so many things I want to talk about at once. <laughs> you know, like, fuck all these jokes. So many fucking things in my mind, I got sick of a fucking joke. Like, like, but black girls look cool. You girls look fucking cool in the mixed up mestizo race, whatever it is. All the multi. That fucking shit is hot. You're so. I picture my tongue sliding around your face and calling it convertible. But that's because I'm French. I'm French. Don't be offended. I'm French. Don't be offended. Hey, you think Hitler ever used the expression big time? I think he did. That's a long story. I, I, I'd have to finish that to be funny again. <laughs> But, uh, like, when I grew up, women weren't gorgeous, like, wh what's your name? Oh, yeah. I thought you'd be afraid because I have a voice that sounds like it should be jerking off behind a tree asking about your sister. How old is the youngest? How old is the youngest? I'm here, I'm here, I'm the new babysitter. Help me with my leg. No, I'm here. Fuck, you know, fucking, everybody wants... Women give cute blowjobs, right? You give a cute blowjob? You. The one I'm staring directly at. You're like, I don't know. Like, what do you give a hideous one and you're proud of it? Like, ah! Ah! <laughs> no, women give gorgeous blowjobs. Look at that. You're never not cute. Girls are never not cute. Like, like, like you start off cute. You, you start off like, here I go, yummers, lollipops, chewy chews, gummy bears, gum drop honey, Sugar Hill Valley, sweetest pie, mermaids waving to blankets, making them feel like warm pancakes. <laughs> Yummy yum yummers. <laughs> and then you turn into like an angry father, marine sergeant, cop, flesh tearing vulture, Samuel L. Jackson from Pulp Fiction. Say no teeth again, motherfucker. Say no teeth again. There's no teeth the country. They speak English, you know teeth. Mind if I have a sip of your cop? <laughs> That is a tasty beverage. <laughs> you know, you start off adorable, you're like, you're like, warm syrup waiting for strawberries to make them feel like cherries if they were cheerleaders. Hi, goodbye. Y yummers, more yummers, and more gummy bears. And then you become like an angry hawk descending on, on a carcass, like, yum, yummy, yum, sweet pies, sweet potato pies to turn sweet, sweeter, and potatoes more potatier, and pie more pie. Here I go. <laughs> I will rip it off. Ah. I own you now. I will rip that fucker off. I own you now. I'm talking about the kind of blowjob that's so good it controls the rest of your life. It owns you. You're, like, you're going to be shopping at Starbucks buying Beanie Bag Babies and Annie DeFranco CDs the rest of your life. You're going to be shopping at... You're going to be going to... Target doing Martha Stewart sheet threat counts every Sunday after a museum during a heat wave. <laughs> Saying things like, I deserve a movie after this. <laughs> and tough guy over here is going to be going to Whole Foods saying things like, you know, I like leafy green vegetables. <laughs> I didn't think I would, but Whole Foods is like a Disneyland for happy turns and squash. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, you guys. I love the agency, man. That's Bella White and Crazy. All the comments there were fucking hot. <laughs>